Hey everybody, Bill in Virginia. Welcome back. So this time I'm gonna start with doing just a little bit of scenery up here on the center module before I turn my attention back to a kit building. What I'm gonna do is I had a hole right here. Uh, that's just from the plywood, the way the piece is butted up and I haven't got it covered yet. So I'm gonna be covering this because what I'm gonna do is ultimately I'm gonna add just a little water feature right in here. Just uh, ground that uh, has a little standing water. So just a little bit of uh, epoxy resin will go in here. I'm gonna have to buy some, but just a little bit. So I'm gonna get this little area done. I can also then uh, start to do some ballast work. Um, actually on both sides of the track right in here, just up through this spot and through here. So I'm gonna get this done and then I'm gonna turn my attention back over to uh, building some additional kits for this piece. So I'll show you some progress on this. This one won't take too long. Put a little glue on the uh, base and then added in uh, some of the uh, Woodland Scenics material that I've been using for my uh, trees. So this is the leftover stuff that has the little glue blebs and other things mixed into it. Uh, perfect for this application. So it is on there and you can see where the glue is soaking through in a few spots. Next is I've sifted some material for ballast. So I'm gonna run the ballast up, oh, probably up to the uh, switch throw on this side and on this side because there's going to be no buildings or anything that are going to be immediately adjacent to the tracks right here. So I can get a little bit more done. So I'll show you after I get the ballast in place. A few minutes later, the ballast is in place. As you have seen in other videos, it really doesn't take very long to uh, put the ballast down. So you can kind of see that the little area that I'm going to do a miniature water feature is really small. It's just going to be along here where I've got the tall reeds. Um, you know, I'm going to be gluing this down. So not a lot should soak into the uh, ballast. That should already be all set with the uh, white glue. So really just you know, a couple of uh, cubic centimeters of uh, material. So I will get... Uh, a mix from uh, like Michael's or Hobby Lobby, and then I'll just use a very small amount of it. So I'm gonna get everything glued up, and then I'm going to uh, switch gears and uh, start going over in for uh, doing some more building construction. Again, I'll only show little snippets, and then I'll show when I start to put things on just their general location here. Well, glue is applied. So I will let this sit for a little while, and if I've got any spots where it's not soaking in, I'll just take a small piece of paper towel and just sort of blot to get any excess up. You know, when you're putting in uh, isopropyl alcohol and you're on cork, you know, a little goes a long way. And uh, sometimes <laughs> you get glue that sort of squirts out, and then you've got too much. So. We'll let it soak in for a few more minutes here, and then any real excess I will blot up. Won't hurt the ballast any. Uh, just kind of get rid of some of those little little puddles here, but we'll give it plenty of time to soak. Well, glue is drying. You can see I used the paper towel, so I just kind of wadded it up, and then where it was excess, just pressed lightly, let the glue float in. So I get rid of any places where it's puddled along the tracks. Along the side, I don't care because I'm gonna be adding more material later. But once all of this sets and I get my epoxy resin, I can do that little water feature most any time. So that might happen on this video or maybe not. <laughs> we'll see what I can get into here. Well, a little farther on the scene, I've added in some grass tufts, some uh, other little odds and ends. So uh, now I'm going to go on and do something different. Um, let's see if I can get that uh, epoxy resin here some night this week. But uh, now I'm going to turn my attention to uh, kit building. So I'm over at the workbench for just a little while here. Uh, I am doing the O-Scale Crossing Shanty, a uh, Bar Mills kit. Really nice, simple to put together. I've stained it with the uh, 
uh, wood stain that I used on the old wagon. This won't take me too long to put together and then I can take it over uh, to the layout and get it settled. So I'm kind of doing the assembly right now, dry fit of pieces. I stained it yesterday and everything's all set. Also, a project that I'll start on, but maybe not on this video, is we starting on the uh, branch line water tank. So as you're watching this video, this video is going to come out probably the latter part of January. Right now, as I'm filming it, it is just a few days before Christmas. I put out my uh, Model Railroad Adventures with Bill Extra uh, just yesterday, asking about which kit that I should do, whether it be the square uh, branch line water tank or the more standard cylinder uh, branch line water tank. And I'll still wait a couple of days to look at the responses uh, in depth. But right now, the uh, vast majority of folks are leaning towards this one, and I'm pretty sure this is the one that's going to win. And it'll fit well in that scene. I, you know, I'm going to put it together. The other one I'll probably just leave boxed, because I, I honestly I don't have space for it where I could put it in and it would look like it is supposed to be in those areas. So anyway, maybe later in this video, I might get started on this or do uh, some other kits. But uh, you'll see this one as it uh, takes shape. So I'm gonna come back, I'll get this stuff glued and get this little building reasonably done and then set on the layout. And then uh, we'll be back over there because I did pick up my uh, epoxy mix to uh, pour that little itty bitty water feature. And I should be able to get that done yet in this video too. So more to come. So just a little bit farther here. I'm gonna be wrapping it up for a Wednesday night. I'm gonna go in and uh, relax a little bit. Should be able to get the rest of this put together uh, come Thursday and uh, start looking at uh, where I want to put it. And then also uh, start looking at doing the water feature over there. So making some progress. So here is how that little Bar Mills kit has turned out. Got everything stained, painted, detailed. Ended up using, it's kind of hard to see from the angle here, but ended up using some of the real fine paper that was covering the uh, window acetate to make the curtains in there. And that, uh, that seems to have worked out pretty well. So uh, kind of glazed the window a little bit, but this will be essentially a little office space in uh, this little service area. Not sure that it's gonna go exactly there. I'll get some of the other buildings in place and then figure out uh, where I wanna put it. So it is a blustery winter's day here in Richmond. Uh, it's the big, uh, just pre-Christmas blizzard and snowstorm and windstorm blowing through. Temperatures in Richmond have dropped quite a bit. Uh, no snow, sun is shining. And uh, the uh, UPS guy delivered me a nice big box. So this is from uh, Caboose Stop Hobbies, and this is some recent purchases that I have done. Put my hand in there for scale. There's some stuff that's gonna go on the O scale here fairly quick. I'm gonna dig through this and just give a, a real quick overview of what I've got in here, and in particular, the one kit, uh, building kit that I've been waiting for, for the little service area. So uh, let's see what I got. So it's been about an hour later, and uh, Merlin from the hobby shop really packs things well. <laughs> so I got a lot of stuff. Uh, just a quick pan over. I got a variety of uh, different things, some uh, grab bag boxes, like that one on the far uh, center of the frame right now. Some, uh, a lot of HO scale kits, uh, some O scale old cars. Somebody had painted, it looks like they're getting ready to do some weathering on them. Uh, should be kind of fun, uh, I can dig them out later. Uh, some N scale cars, and then uh, some HO that's underneath it. And then uh, underneath that is an old uh, Mantua steam locomotive kit. And below that is, uh, I'm pull that, the pen line. It's a, a Pacific, so another steam locomotive kit. It's 
something to do on a cold winter day, and it looks like this year we're going to have them. A uh, variety of just other kits, uh, a lot of Atherin metal kits and plastic kits, as well as uh, other manufacturers, Ambroid, different things of like that. O scale drums, somebody painted them red, I'll paint them up different colors. Again, a whole pile of old kits. Uh, this is a metal kit, really nice. And then, uh, you know, a bunch of those down there. And then here's the one that's gonna go on the uh, ON30. So this is my uh, narrow gauge engine house. Uh, footprint is four by seven inches. Just a small single stall engine house. So uh, this one I'll be putting together fairly soon. I might, I might do that after I get done with the uh, other little shacks that I've started on since I did the uh, Bar Mills kit. But this will go on fairly quick. So uh, a good selection of stuff. And then for Christmas, I've got another big box uh, that came from Caboose Stop Hobbies uh, from quite a while ago. It's got a variety of O scale, it's got more figures, and then it's got a whole bunch of stuff that I have no clue what's in it because I don't remember. So that will be on Christmas morning. I'll get to open that one up and uh, kind of see what kind of goodies I've got. Now I've got to find a place for this. Uh, a lot of kits to put together. Uh, do that obviously later and I'll get it sorted out. I'll get that one over on the workbench and uh, kind of go from there. So back over at the bench for a little bit and I've been working on the uh, two little grade crossing shanties uh, from the kit that I've got and I got the first one done you know I've opted to change it up a little bit I'm not putting the window in this one and I'm not putting in the little pot belly stove that came with the kit I will use those other places so I'm gonna be using these as like little storage sheds so this is the first one and it, it turned out really well uh, made a few little errors here that I'll correct when I do the uh, second shed that was in the kit but uh, this turned out nicely the colors look good and uh, just what I was using to paint this is I was using acrylic paint uh, to give the wood a little bit of a weathered look you know you can kind of see how it looks compared to what the original was and the uh, paint that I've been using on that is a paint that I have been using at other places it's this folk art urban putty um, you know it's a nice off brown it looks like weathered wood once you paint it onto wood so yeah you know I'm kind of happy with the results on this and I'm gonna continue to do it I have weathered this slightly with chalks you can see you know some of the weathering you know weathering is always something you want to do uh, you know, I'm of the philosophy that you don't excessively weather things unless they are really, really, really old and have been abandoned for a long time. Then, you know, rust them up, dirty them up, whatever. But if it's something like a logging camp that probably hasn't been there more than a, you know, a couple of years, uh, you know, a little bit of weathering goes a long way. It gives it character, but it doesn't make it look like it, you know, you'd be afraid to walk into it. So anyway, this one I'm going to go just set on the layout. Then I'm going to get started on this one and uh, then get ready for uh, Christmas. It's Christmas Eve when I'm filming this and uh, just about uh, you know, time to have some fun for the holidays. One last little segment for this video. And uh, you know, a while back when I was working on the logging camp scene, a lot of comments on how I'm going to be loading logs. Well, here is the answer. So I got a kit in that I bought off eBay, and it will be a log loader. So there's a picture of that. Kilgore Steam Log Loader. So this is what I'm going to be making and setting on that scene for loading of my logs. So a really nice looking kit. Uh, quite happy to get this in here. So I will get this put together again at some point. I got a lot of stuff to do over the holidays. Maybe I can get to it, maybe not. But uh, this is what it's gonna be. So with that, I'm going to wrap up this video. So keep having fun on your layouts. Until next time.